So I got uh, an offer to do a job uh, where I had to record mainly slow motion, but at the same time, there was a few times where I had to record at a regular speed, and I completely forgot about it, and this was one of them. So how can I convert a slow motion video into a regular video 23.98? So my slow motion video was recording 60 frames per second. Okay, so the first thing what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to play the video. So I select the video and I hit play. And as you can see, it's in a slow motion and the audio is playing in the background, but the audio eventually is going to stop and the video is going to continue. And the reason why, because when you do a slow motion, the video actually expands so that way it can go slow. But the audio remains the same speed. Okay, so now I'm going to place the clip on the timeline. As you can see, it shows only one track, but I record two tracks, one with a condenser microphone, second condenser microphone, and the other one I use the microphone from the camera, from my Blackmagic Pocket 6K Pro. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this from the timeline. I'm going to right click on the clip and let's select Clip Attributes. Click on the audio tab. Uh, I'm going to add two mono tracks. I have a stereo track, so I'm going to add two mono tracks. Uh, type 2, add, and then delete the stereo track, and then hit OK. Now I'm going to proceed and place the, the clip on the timeline, and now you can see that it has two tracks. The one uh, with the bigger uh, waveform is actually the, the condenser microphone that I use, and the other one is the microphone from the camera. By the way, I created these tracks before I place the clip on the timeline to create two mono tracks. The next thing we have to do is unlink the video from the audio track. So I'm gonna unselect this icon and then we're gonna lock the audio tracks. And once we do that, we're gonna right click on the video and we're gonna click where it says change clip speed, deselect pitch correction and increase the speed to 250% and then click change. Notice that the clip actually shrink. Okay, now let's play. And once we play, Let's play, and now as you can see, he's actually playing at normal speed. And it matched the audio that we record. So if I expand the clip, now you can see that the audio ends with the video ends. All right, so this is how you convert a 60 frames per second video into 2398 frames per second video without affecting the audio. Okay, that's it for me for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. Put a thumbs up and I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.